Hit, but we know that it is Tamash Gal on a pole position here with the five red lights in Bahrain to kick off season 16. And we are underway. Tamash Gal getting away well in towards turn number one, covering off Ikebena on the inside line. But Jake Benham looking towards the outside as they're three abreast in towards that first corner. All so close to contact, but it's Jake Benham soaring around the outside on his fresh set of the soft compound of ties to take the lead. Heading up the hill and towards turn number two and three. Tamash Gal still fending off the attack from Ikebena. Cabana in behind. Jake Benham covering around that outside as now Tamash Gal will maintain P2 for the time being. But a brilliant start, a brilliant getaway from Jake Benham at the end of that first sector. And he leads the way. Eight star from Ishmael Fassi making nine positions on those opening foul laps. And also with Sam Puki making eight positions on the opening laps as Ikebana takes third. A bit of contact with Tamash Gal in towards toe on that. Uh, puts him onto the inside at the first corner. Has to try and fight back. Has to back off. Heading three out of turns two and three. And Dan, they've lost five tenths because of that. You know, it, that's something they need to avoid. Battling too hard in towards that first corner. Jordan Watme making a move there on Daniel Yeltsin to put himself into P7 in towards turn four. For Rika, so he's going to maybe use a bit of battery just to try, try and sneak into that one second gap of those ahead. Yeah, these soft tyres definitely down uh, are dropping off a lot quicker than I thought because look at this. Now, Ika Bain is already on the back of the top two just within a lap and a half. So, Tamash Gal's lost some time because he's now a second back, so he's going to struggle for the DRS down towards turn four. And then further back, we can see Shamal Fassi trying to launch back onto Yon Otmir to turn one to the inside. Cots had a movement for a bit of a dummy move there on the Mercedes driver. That's Daniel Yeltsin going around the outside at turn one on Ishmael Fassi inside at turn two. Then that gives Ishmael the inside at turn three, but actually pushed off track a little bit. The Williams driver by the Aston Martin as they head down in towards turn four. It's the inside line for Ishmael Fassi, probably the best line to take in towards that fourth corner, but absolutely great job there from Daniel trying to go around the outside. That's to back out a little bit, didn't quite have the grip on that outside line. Bit of contact as they head in towards turn six, bit more contact as they head through and that was definitely a bit of a heart in the mouth moment between those two and they make it through to turn eight still quite dandy and also Duggan Hoffman just like getting a bit of a tap to his teammate into the back of turn eight probably saying yep yeah, calm down a bit Daniel you're gonna end up taking yourselves both out at this rate in the Grand Prix is there any moves heading in towards the first corner another Joseph Loke getting very close to the rear of Duncan Hoffman is now in towards turn number one looks to the inside line of both Aston Martins here it'll be a fantastic move if Joseph Loke is able to pull this one off has a, a bit of a, a ruined line in towards turn number three and is actually also slightly pushed off the road by Duncan Hoffman so Joseph Loke maybe not too happy at the minute he'll have to go around the outside in towards turn number four try and get Duncan potentially on the switchback and this battle could be on in towards the second sector. Joseph Locke will have the inside for the next right-hander at turn number five, but Duncan Hoffman using the momentum around the outside and he's done a fantastic job of defending this position. Isfan Puki also looking to make his way into the fight, but it seems like everything is going to subside for now. It's some great defensive work from Duncan Hoffman, but at that cost, he's lost now nine tenths to Daniel Shelson. Clay still leading the way in towards the final breaking zone of this lap, lap number 13 or 29. We're coming up towards actually the halfway point of this race, and there it is Shanaka Clay, Jake Benham coming into the pit lane. A lot of fog on the circuit, but it is indeed the two soft runners, Shanaka and Jake, to come into the pit lane. Now, Dylan Warren, he's all over the back of Ikebena into that first corner. Doesn't seem like he'll be making a move. Jo Joseph Loke, though, having to defend from Nicholas Longay around the outside. Joseph can get ever so slightly boxed in by Duncan Hoffman's Aston Martin now at the exit and in towards this straight, heading in towards turn number four. Both of them have the DRS, but Nicholas Longay will be able to make that move stick. Additional strategy of the hard to medium compound a tie but I think with a lot of people starting on the hard we'll see quite a few people edging out a bit later to get themselves onto those soft tyres and then go for a bit of a you know a bit of a sprint at the end for the past seven or eight laps as now we can see for it and Navo Caraton who's heading into the pits and we know that the undercut works at the start so if you see Ishmael Fassi end up coming out ahead of Philip uh, sorry if you end up seeing him come out ahead of Philip and Alvaro by six or seven seconds don't be surprised it's something we always see when the undercut features in this game but the overcut then after a while even that two or three lap offset always works back and you did, see, did you see something there Dan? Yeah, they were almost three wide and towards turn number one Shanaka Clay getting himself ahead of Ishmael Fassi Jake Burnham deciding to follow him through Ishmael Fassi now relegated to a net P3 in this race that's it to one sorry for Alvaro so it seems like he is the quickest man on circuit at the minute all oh, so close to going off the road and indeed he is off the circuit making a little bit of contact with Louis Welch then he'll actually uh, drop down behind 
Yano Otman now just about to stay ahead of Philip Perez. He tried sticking his nose up the inside in towards turn number 10. Didn't quite work out. There is now uh, Dylan Moore and Nicholas Longe, Joseph Loke, all of the hard runners coming into the pit lane. This is crucial. I see re uh, red tyres down at Red Bull. That is Nicholas Longe, jo Dylan Warren, all of these guys onto a set of the softs. Jake Benham leading this race ahead of Shanaku Clay. They retake their throne at the top of the order and we'll see where all these guys emerge on their set of the softs with 10 laps to go Dylan Warren will be leaving this train from 14th position downwards Nathan are you able to get back in the lobby we're in for a treat this hit this time any of the action as Dylan Warren's all over the back of Philip Prezzetti will cut away from that battle to go on with Yano Watmir fastest laps coming out from all of the soft runners they are flying at the minute Yano Watmir up the inside and into P8 ahead of Daniel Shelton he has got slightly fresher tyres than all of these guys at this point and I think Jan Watmir could actually be the dark horse yet to come in at this race that's on Philip Preda and Daniel Shelson up ahead so here comes Dylan Warren off the exit of that final corner he's got plenty of battery to overtake Alvaro Caraton who is harvesting in towards that first corner it's Van Pukki has got ahead of his fellow countryman Ben Chapaconi further up the road as Louis Welch I think is going to be our first retirement of the day five seconds for speeding in the pit lane and indeed he is out of this race Duncan Hoffman Lost, no, uh, lost the place now to Nicholas Longe. So Nathan, lap number 23 and 29. Shanaka Clay still leading ahead of Jake Benham but the train is closing and in fact Hamash Gao with four lap fresher tyres on Ben Shabba Konyi is all over the back of him. Yeah, it's going to be a great battle coming into all position. He had a tough season 15. It seems like his troubles are following him, in, him into this season of racing. As now, look at this battle. Yano Watmir through on Ikabena heading in towards that final corner. We don't typically see many moves through here because you want to wait for that ERS straight. But here they come off the exit of that final corner. Yano Watmir now up into P7. Ben Shabakoni is going to have to defend from the Dutchman. Here comes Hamash Gao on his teammate. And he is flying up the order with much crazy fresher tyres than those around him. Ishvan Puki having to defend once again then from Ben Shabakoni is now in towards the corner. They go. Shabakoni and Ishvan Puki going side by side through here. The two Hungarians doing battle. Jan Ortmir arriving onto the scene, getting himself through on Ishvan Puki in towards the corner. They go, I think. Uh, ben Shabakoni has parked his car perfectly to defend from the Flying Dutchman on lap number 24 of 29 it really is up in the air as to who is going to win this Grand Prix I want to send a move in towards turn 30 I don't know how far back I am but still very good job there for uh, Dylan Warren He's, uh, oh safety car also again. Shana Kinchy's oh. off down at turn oh. number 11 safety car is out on lap number 24 of 29 oh my word Jake Benham and Shanaka Clay their race is in ruins because they have not been able to come into the pit lane so Ishmael Fassi Tamash Gow all of these guys in behind going to be able to pit for a set of the soft compound of tyres Jake Benham and Shanaka they were past the pit lane Ishmael Fassi's just been able to get through. I don't know if he cut it or whatever, but I'm not too sure what's happened with him. Joseph Loke, Jack West, Barry Burman, and Will Lewis, they've all stayed out. Shanna Kinchi DNFing from this Grand Prix has allowed for the race to effectively be reset here. Now Shanna can clay off the exit, the final corner. He's pulled the trigger early and we are back racing here in Bahrain. Shanaka leading in towards turn number one. They're all emerging through the fog in the background. Joseph Loke is all over the rear of Jake Benham in towards that first corner. You can see, I believe that is uh, Ishmael Fassi trying to go for the move on Will Lewis. They're three wide in towards turn number one. Joseph Loke is up the inside of both Shanaka and Jake Benham and now Joseph Loke leads this race. Uh, Ishmael Fassi all over the rear of Jake Benham. Jake Benham sinking down the order. He's in dire straits at this point the Grand Prix Barry Burman has got himself up into P4 we're watching the Spaniard Ishmael Fassi all over the rear of Jake Benham and in towards the second sector they go he'll get himself into P5 and potentially in the fight for the podium but at the front of the order Joseph Loke leading from Jack West those soft tyres they're not done yet at this point Ishmael Fassi has found his way up into P4 none of the other soft runners have been able to get themselves up the order as there's chaos all the way out through behind they're all diving up the inside and towards turn number 10 it's a miracle that no one's gone around at this point I see a bit of wing going off of uh, one of the I believe Haas cars I think it might be maybe uh, Ben Shabakonyi has got some wing damage I'm not too sure what's happened there Tamash Gell through on Jake Benham Jake Benham spun Jake Benham's around as he's come back onto the circuit luckily he's ghosted through everyone there but Jake Benham himself through 
on Shanaka Clay and now he is fighting potentially for a podium. Here comes Ishmael Fassi all over the back of Jack West. Jack West trying to go on the attack on Joseph Lope but Joseph did an incredible job of defending there. Ishmael Fassi's forced off the circuit in through turn number four. Brilliant defensive driving from Jack West. The two older soft runners doing their best to fend off the charging Williams but in towards turn number eight. It, Tamash Gal's giving the tap to Ishmael Fassi and in towards turn number nine and ten they go. Here comes Jack West defending on the inside of Ishmael Fassi almost spinning through the corner he ghosts in towards down this uh, back straight with the DRS wide open it is pandemonium we've got Philip Presnader out of this race unfortunately no safety car will come out at this point and uh, it is all, it's just chaos all throughout this grid on lap number 28 of 29 in through turn number 12 they go Ishmael Fancy's just about been able to finally make the move on Jack West who is not giving this move up somehow fighting in this top 10 as Ishmael Fassi is all all over the rear of Joseph Lope for the final time in this race. He looks to the outside of turn number eight. Joseph Lope going to give him the nudge off the circuit. They're three wide in towards turn number nine and ten. Who's going to come out on top? Surely there's going to be contact as does Ismail Fassi up the inside of both Joseph Lope and Tamash Gal. And Tamash Gal, he's bitten the dust and he's around at turn number ten or at least he's lost a number of places down into P10. Joseph Lope sending it one final time around the outside of turn number Number 11, but I think nothing's going to give at this point. Here's Jan Watmir around the outside of Jack West and into the final couple of corners. Jack West has gone for a spin. He's into the inside wall and it's good. it's a great day. Gone from bad to worse for Jack West. It's now into the final corners for the final time. Joseph Loke all over the rear of Ishmael Fassi and around the outside of the final corner he goes. Ishmael almost off the circuit, but I think for the final time in this race, they'll cross the line. Ishmael Fassi maintains the lead ahead. Head of Joseph Loke in second. It's third for Jan Watmir at the end. Dylan Warren ends up in fourth. Nathan, I can finally take a breath after three laps of non-stop action. It is Ishmael Fassi taking victory here.